Yes, we're coming to you live, folks, from um, Belvedere Gardens and at the Jealous Wall. John, um, we're having a fantastic day here so far. Yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, we had Jimmy Blake out this morning, yeah. and Jimmy must have had about 150, 200 people in the garden. I've never seen so many people in the wall garden on a tour before. It's great, great to, to kick off the day. Absolutely, and, and a lot of people are still here, and more people arriving. Um, I hope they don't run out of plants. Well, this is the thing. It's actually uh, it's a really good atmosphere now. We've got the music, there's a barbecue, and there's 21 kind of people that grow rare plants. So we've got to really support these people because we've seen all the stuff that's in the shops in Lidl and Aldi. This is, this is the real plants, real unusual things. And if you want to buy something really unusual for your front garden, you're going to find it here, like a catalpa tree or something unusual. So uh, we've got to really support the growers. And uh, now we've got some music. It's all looking good. It's all going well and, uh, and what a great venue. You have people country. from all over. There's a gentleman there who told me he drove up, he drove up from Cork. There's uh, Boyne Gardens are here and we might have chatting to them earlier on. John Lynch is here as well. Yeah. That's John Lynch we're chatting to. And as you can see in the background there is the um, Jealous Wall. So if you have anything to do, folks, or nothing to do, call out the still. What time? I think it goes on to four or five o'clock. You know, and support this local heritage. Like, we're so lucky to have this in Westmead. There's only m maybe nine or ten of them in the whole country. And Belvedere is probably the best naturalistic parkland with follies in the whole country. It's a complete it's learning exercise. We it's were talking amazing. to people that uh, came to the came here before, and uh, this is a regeneration because we had a little break for two years. Yeah. So everyone is back out and enjoying the main event. The whole so, generation have never seen it before, and it, it's so educational. It's John, an amazing piece of you've history. done a bit of uh, since we were chatting last. You've got a, a diploma, is that right? A degree? I'm, I'm just about to finish my masters, yeah. What are you doing the masters in? Uh, with your HS, it's called the Masters of Horticulture, so uh, I'm due to finish it next month. Yeah. And where are you doing that? In Royal Wisley in, in London, yeah. Wow. So that's Your thesis is done, I think, on the garden itself? Yeah, I just finished a thesis on the development of the wall garden as a as an educational tool and um, try and make it work and work for more of the people that we've been getting into employment and degrees and progression so what you do here is you train up people isn't that correct uh, how many people went through this year about 14 people a year with 13 years here so we've, we've gone through about i think about, what's that about 170 people since 2009 there's 36 of them with degrees a load of people with diplomas 80 percent of people are in the industry and progressed so uh longford uh, westmead educational training board fund us westmead community development are our sponsors and that's why we need uh, our new college. What? Is so there a college coming here? A we, college in Mullingar? We applied for funding for a proper school of horticultural excellency and also land-based industries. And we've looked at certain studies of, of how this wall garden can progress better. And uh, yeah, we went into Simon Harris last year with ministers and junior ministers supporting it at the moment so we need we need that pushed through it's, it's a no-brainer you know and it's the next step it's it's the end of a pro I suppose, of a process of 13 years exactly because you can uh, connect into Mullingar as well you can create a, a, a beautiful beautiful Mullingar through Belvedere correct yeah the whole thing is this new is this land-based industries this, so many things we can do with uh, with everything to do with land-based. Look, it's the biggest, it's the biggest thing in the world. It's worth seven trillion land-based industries. You know, everything you do from computers, to everything, it's all linked to horticulture. It's all linked to learning and science, and we want to keep progressing that. We want the horticultural apprenticeships, which has just been released, and we want that here. We have the Ferrari of the vehicle, which is the estate. You know, we have the, our own botanic gardens here. We need our own mini botanic gardens and chuggers, and that's what we're looking for. We walked through the gardens today, and uh, Jimmy gave us a, a, an in-depth... Uh, he knew every plant in the place. Sure, everyone's always blown away when they come through, because it's a unique space, you know? And the garden is... I have to... It's a credit to you, because I've been coming out here for a long, long time, and that's the first... Well, I haven't been here in years, but that's the first time I've seen the wall garden looking absolutely... And it, it, you could have been anywhere in the world. You could be anywhere in the garden. Well, it's down to the students, it's down to the staff and everybody because we, we, we are custodians of it. And it's, uh, there's not many of them in the garden, in the, in the, in 
in Ireland. Like at one stage, there was 9,000 of these properties in Ireland. Now there's only about 400 left. But of wall gardens, there's only about really good 10 good versions of them. And we have one here in Westmeath. And the beauty of it is there's plants up there that are there a long, 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 oh, yeah. long time. Plants going out there. Wall garden is 100 nearly there since 1850s, you know? Yeah. But the. Um, ah, sure, look at this. It's a, a botanist dream. There you are, folks. We're coming to you live from Belvedere. If you've something to do, do that and come on out to Belvedere. It'll be finished in another, what, it could be another like six o'clock, but come on ahead. We're looking forward to meeting you at Belvedere at the Unusual Plant Fair 2022. Thanks, John. Bye, folks.